Hi, I'm Chris Judge, the Senior Technical Officer at PGRO, and I'm looking at the Barney P variety trialling. Here we are in a commercial crop that's in full flower and starting to form pods, and we're going to be looking today at how we assess flowering and use it to plan our season and our harvest. This season we're looking at 199 different varieties, uh, both at this location and a second location in Holbeach. But obviously in a commercial situation, you're going to be looking at one variety across a whole field. If you're going out to inspect a commercial field, you're going to be looking for what's happening in general across the field, but trying to also spot any anomalies, any issues, and where it might be changing on the headland or a slope or anything similar. Some of the timings we're looking for is we're looking for when 100% of the plants have at least one flower and then we're going to be looking for when the flowering is starting to end and when the flowering is completely finished ending and then looking at the different stages of pod set. These are all important because they let us help rank where different varieties are going to be relative to each other so that we can plan our harvest timings accordingly. And in a commercial field you're going to be looking for where your fields are in your sequence for your other fields in respect of their maturity and when they've been drilled for planning your season. So in this commercial field behind us, it's looking very even with everything in full flower and starting to set some pods. Whereas in our trials, we've got a maturity range from sort of zero days to plus 16 days. And then at this point, that's equivalating to sort of 5% in flower all the way up to fully out of flower. When inspecting a crop, you've got to think about your positioning as well. You best have your sun at your back so that you're not having any issues with glare when you're scanning across to see the level of flowers. Here is our least mature, with only 5-10% to 10 of plants having a fully opened flower. This plot would be assessed at about 50% in flower, with some plants fully in flower and some not being out yet. This variety would be assessed at 100% flowering. We'd be looking for this to be ready in about 30 days time, but that does vary based on weather conditions and location. this variety the flowers are just starting to decline. Now we're going to look at a variety that's just coming to the end of flowering. This one here should be ready for harvest in 12 to 14 days time and we'll start tenderometer testing on it in about seven days time. We've come and perform assessments like this at least once a week but usually twice a week to make sure that we're covering the full variation of what's happening between the varieties. For predicting when the harvest will be ready, uh, we work forward from 100% flowering to about 30 days later and from being out of flower we're looking at sort of 12 to 14 days later we're starting tenderometer testing from about seven days after being fully out of flower. These of course vary depending on the weather and the location that you're in. So you want to make sure that you're not overly relying on those numbers and you're watching what the crop's doing. There's a range of different features in the varieties including some determinate varieties, some semi-leafless varieties and some, some conventional leaf varieties. Some crops tend to lay low to the ground. Others remain more upright. The pods on this one are fairly full and according to our flowering predictions it's due to be ready in the next couple of days. So we're going to cut a test bag of it so that we can look at its tenderometer values to judge whether it should be taken tomorrow or the day after.